Assalamu alaikum. Uh, greetings to Sir Rahim. Uh, this video is the demonstration of the project uh, that we have built, uh, the operating system project. Uh, so, uh, the project is about CPU scheduling simulator. Uh, in this project, uh, what we are doing, the main goal of this project is to demonstrate the performance of each algorithm. So, uh, I have uploaded uh, this folder project in my Google Drive. So in, inside the folder CPU scheduling simulator, you will find two folders, right? So these are two ways you can execute the project. The first way is to actually open this folder in a NetBeans IDE, or you can use any other IDE that supports Java. Uh, uh, you can execute this uh, project directly from opening this project in some IDE, or you can opt for the second option, that is to uh, go to an executable file. When you ex uh, open the executable file folder, you will see the .exe file. Uh, so this is an executable of the project. So when we open a project, you will see the startup screen, right? As we can see from here, we can see a startup screen. And uh, you have a couple of options. For example, the first option is to choose an algorithm. Uh, you can choose uh, one of four algorithms, right? So, for example, if I want to choose round robin scheduling algorithm, and the second option is to choose the computation source, right? So, you can imagine you have multiple processes, and each process will be working on this file that you provide, right? So, for example, if I'm opening some random file here, and then I have to provide the number of processes. So, for example, right now I'm providing 10 processes. So we can actually start the project now. Uh, after providing all the information that is required, you can just hit the start button. Also, you will notice uh, we have another button that would actually provide uh, the uh, group members information. So let's just hit the start button. Right now, as you can see, the selected algorithm is round robin, right? So that means there is a quantum of time defined, right? So after that quantum of time, time is exceeded the current executing process will be preempted right and the CPU scheduler will as you can see the process P2 is now preempted uh, and the process P3 is now executed and after uh, time quantum is exceeded again P3 is preempted right and again P4 is preempted and as you can see the ready queue here right the ready queue is also maintained so for example right now p7 uh, is waiting to be executed while p6 is executed right p6 is preempted now p7 has given a chance to execute on a cpu you can also see right now which process is uh, right now currently being executed on a cpu okay so now p9 is executing you can also see the remaining burst time and the waiting time, the, the amount of time, the total amount of time the particular process has waited in the ready queue. So all it, right now P2 has been given a chance to execute again. It was the process that was first preempted, right? Again it is preempted, again the time quantum is exceeded. P3 will always be, also be preempted, right? As well as P4. Now as you can see the ready queue has P6, now it will be given a chance now. P6 will complete its execution, right? Then P9 is given a chance after, okay, P9 is preempted again. P10 is given a chance, it will complete its execution. Now P2 will be given a chance. Now P3, as you can see the ready queue is actually providing information which process will be taking CPU next. After all this process is done, you can see the average waiting time, average turnaround time, and the total execution time. And you can see also the uh, state of the CPU, right? So this is just a one of the four algorithms that we have developed, right? The round robin tells you the performance uh, of the round robin compared to other algorithms that we have actually developed, uh, so just like shortest job first. Uh, FCFs, FS, and uh, also the priority scheduling algorithm. I will also be demonstrating priority scheduling algorithm next. So now I will be 
uh, testing priority scheduling algorithm and see how that works right uh, I do not have time to go through all the scheduling algorithms obviously the, uh, this demonstration of these two algorithms uh, can summarize the project so for example right now I'm giving only five processes right just to demonstrate the priority scheduling algorithm simulation so as you can see the priority P2 has the highest priority out of all the processes so P2 will be given the CPU first and as you can see the ready queue is also maintained so for example we can see after P2 P1 will be executed because that is the process that has the next highest uh, priority right then P4 then P5 and then P3 you can also see the priority uh, status on this side as well okay so the execution is completed right and these are the results of priority schedule algorithm working on five processes right so you can actually compare these results uh, 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 between the four algorithms and decide which algorithm is best for a particular set so this is actually all about the project and uh, I hope uh, uh, that you will actually look at the other two algorithms that I haven't covered for example first come first serve and you will see that how that actually works and uh, also the shortest job first algorithm uh, that is that was very interesting to uh, actually uh, implement so for example instead of priority now you have a burst time in the shortest job first algorithm and uh, process with the least amount of next CPU burst will be served first. So thank you very much. Take care.